Oh, nice. I used to live in um, I lived in Adams Morgan when I was down there, and then. Oh, so, so I know the area quite well. Yeah, man, we're we're getting crazy weather here. It's like eighty degrees today. Like. Yeah, it's really really warm here. Also, and I had to like wear a hat because my hair is like too long now that I gotta like do something to keep it out of my eyes. All right. So. All right. Well, so I only have one webcam. So when I like, I gotta tilt my laptop down. Yeah, to, that's like, exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like tilt at the yeah. table. Okay. So just let me know if you can't see anything, and I'm more than happy to like kind of adjust things. Um, yeah, likewise. Sounds good. I'm pretty casual. So how have you liked the format so far? It's good. Um, this uh, I, I feel like I'm a little stuck with some of my choices in the deck, but uh, it's going okay so far. Do you play any other like eternal formats or old formats? Um, I've got a collector's edition, so I, I do some of the old school Skype MTG stuff. Okay, cool. Um, but yeah, I've, I've only been doing the Skype thing for a couple of weeks now, but it's it's a loads of fun. I mean, like, I feel like I am past the time where I can devote a lot of time to like going to a game store and just right. playing one-off matches like this is perfect. Yeah, I mean, there are... I mean, it, it's a little far for you to go to, but I kind of like Dream Wizards, which is up in um, Rockville. I've heard of that, yeah. I mean, and there's a new card store here at Eastern Market. It's called Labyrinth. And they've oh, got cool. That was, on too. I didn't know about that one. Yeah, they just opened maybe three, four, five years ago, something like that. Okay. Um, and it's it, it's more and more active. I should swing by there sometime. But Yeah, I mean, Dream Wizards is a good place for like a Saturday or Sunday event. Mm -hmm. Um. They do monthly legacy if you play legacy. Um, they do one yeah, one I mean, Friday night. <laughs> yeah, I don't play much anymore. I've got basically like a four year old legacy deck that uh, you know. I mean, it's legacy. You, what like, is it? In four years, you can swap in four new cards, and it'll be state of the art. Right. Uh, what are you playing? Uh, pretty much like. I've got stuff for Delver. I've got stuff for like the the Nick Fit stuff, which okay. you know basically you just swap out the best four and five drops. Yeah, um, yeah, those decks haven't changed much. Yeah, but I mean, just Cabal Therapy, that's like my favorite card, and okay. I've got a set of like Alpha and Beta Lightning Bolts that I like to play with. So anything that's got Cabal Therapy and Lightning Bolt, I'd okay, <laughs> fair enough. Yeah. and you know what? Both those cards are as good now as they were five years ago. That's what I figured. Those, those yeah. are never going out of style. Yeah. They might actually be better because, like, really, Tarmogoyf is on the wane in Legacy. And Bolt is, like, Bolt. much better. Yeah, which, which is, is good Bolt. for Bolt. So, and it kills Jace fairly nicely, which is a good thing. All right. Well, you want to um, – I can – I have a die I can roll, and you can call out or even. Yeah, sure. Let's, uh, okay. let's do it. Let me convert. Let me just switch it up. And... Sure, same here. Okay. I'm a little bit, my camera's a little far away, but it's good resolution. So let me know if you have an issue and I can try to figure okay. something out. Here's also, my play area. I think you can probably see it okay. Uh, yeah, you're, you're, you've got a book there that's kind of in the way of some of it. Yeah, I, I, I need something to like, I. I oh, I, I got you. Like, that, that's what you, it's on. I see. Never mind. Yeah, it's just like I, I'm like using it to prop up my um, laptop. I can try maybe. No, that's fine. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's I got you. I see. That's not like an. I don't know if I can do it much. Yeah. No, it, it'll be fine. I'm sure. Let me see if I can. How's this? Hang on. Is this better for you? Let me see if I can do this. Let me just try and jury rig this a little bit. Give me a second. You know, why don't we just start playing? And if there's an issue, I'll let you know. Ah, cool. Cool. Oh, man, I got to readjust everything. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Uh, call odd or even. I'll go odd. It's a two. Okay. So I'll play. All right. How many games have you gotten to play so far in this league? Um, this is my uh, third match that I've got down. Cool. Um, I got blown out in my first one, but I won my next two. Yeah, I um I got the uh the dreaded black vice followed up by Winter Orb two games and I was like, oh, ooh, that's kind of awesome, but not when you're on the receiving end. Yeah, I mean you can't complain. I was like, well, that sucks. 
All right, well, good luck, man. Yeah, thanks, you too. Um, just really quick, I'm trying to find another dice somewhere. Uh, where's all my stuff? I got them all. Just so I can track both of us at the same time. Can you see? Oh, no, no worries. I got pen and paper right here, too, so. Okay, cool. Yeah, I think I like this online enough that I think I'm going to go buy a digital camera. Yeah, like a, like, this, is, a webcam. this has been like, like I really haven't played much in like five years, and this has really sort of piqued my interest in This is awesome. Like, I'm, yeah. I'm in. This is great. All right. I'm mulling to six. Um, I, I will keep this. I'll keep. All right. Volcanic Island, go. Savannah Lion, go ahead. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> Love the lions. Womp, go. Uh, attack. You got it. I'm 18. Tundra. White Knight. Okay. Go ahead. Dark Ritual? Okay. Him you? Ouch. One black floating? So, one, two, three, four, five. One and two, please? One and two. Balance and White Knight. Okay. Those are good. And then with my black floating, I will play a Sedge Troll. Okay. Go ahead. Going to Swords, the Sedge Troll. Uh, I was hoping to get one with a, with a him. 21. And then uh, swing. I'm at 17. All right, go ahead. How many cards in him? Uh, two. Mine was you for two? Might as well power sink it for one. Okay. Go ahead. I'll attack. I'm at 13. And Island. Go ahead. Hippie? Okay. Go ahead. Control magic, the hippie. Oof. Oh, you got this one. All right, yeah, that. I guess I got lucky that you took my balance of white knight because it kept my lands in the in the swords. Yeah. And so that was a difference. Yeah. And that was um that was good. Except not for me. I'll play. Alrighty. I need to do a bit of boarding here. No worries. Take your time. It's nice to see um, some white weenie decks being played. The last. 
couple ones didn't have anybody sporting white beanie. I feel like it's uh, I mean, it's one of the more natural archetypes, you know? Yeah. For this old school stuff. I feel like white weenie alone isn't interesting enough, so I figured I'd try a blue splash. Yeah, I mean, hey, swing with Savannah Lion and White Knight and stuff seems pretty good. Well, and there's, like, particularly in this Type 2 thing, um, there's just, like, no card advantage at all, and I feel like Control right. Magic is really, really good in this particular format. So I wanted to do everything I could to play Control Magic. It seems reasonable. There are a few ways to generate some card advantage, but there's really no good card draw. I mean, I guess you could do Jame Dayton, but it seems really slow. Yeah, yeah. And and there's, like, basically no enchantment removal either. I mean, Tranquility is, like, a bad card, but people will sideboard with it, you know, right. just because that's what you got. Uh, other than that, it's, like, Disenchant, Disc maybe, like... Right. It's just it's just such a big swing. All right. All right, I will play. Okay. I'll keep um I'm going to mull to 6. Okay. This is where the splash kind of screws you. <laughs> yeah, it's like balancing the colors is really tough cuz you really want like double white on turn 2. Exactly, and I had an island and a temple, which isn't going to cut it. Yeah, and then you also kind of want to have access to double blue by turn five, probably. Yep, so. it's, it's a bit of a stretch. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll, I'll, keep, I'll keep this one, and then I'll scry, okay. and we'll keep that. Right, I'll play it underground sea and pass the go. Plains Lion. Sounds good. My turn? Him you? Ouch. One, two, three, four, five. Um, one and two, please. One and two is control magic and swords. That's a good one. Yep. Go ahead. Swing. Yeah, I take it. I'm at 18. Uh, My turn? Tundra, go ahead. How many cards do you have? I have three. Sedge Troll? Okay. Go ahead. Uh, Serendipa Free. That's a good one. And go ahead. How many cards do you have? I have four. Okay. I'll cast my own E3. Ooh, nice. Go ahead. I really like the fact that I'm getting to use the the ugly revised ones too, because it's just such a weird card. Oh, dude, I've, these are the same ones I've had for 20 years. I th those are the good ones. <laughs> yep. I mean, I have the Ara the Arabian Nights ones also, but. Oh, nice. Those are worth a lot. I hope you picked them up a couple of years ago. Oh yeah, I picked them up a long time ago. My That's awesome. They're like hundred bucks now, one fifty something yeah, like that. It's insane. So I'm nineteen in my yeah, yeah, nineteen mid eighteen. Hmm. 
let's let's see. I'll attack with Efreet. I'll block with my Efreet. Okay. Page take three. Then after combat, play in Ayla Pile. That's fine. And then pop it and finish off the Efreet. All right, and I will lightning bolt your Efreet. <clears throat> All righty. Go ahead. How many cards in him? I have two. You? I have three. Okay. My draw. Um, I'll swing with my sedge troll. All right, I'm at 16. Sedge troll? Okay. Go ahead. Gonna control magic your untap such troll. Okay. And then attack. Sixteen. My turn? Uh yep, go ahead. So bad. Swing with my such troll. Alright, no blocks. 13. Deal two to your sedge troll. Okay. Go ahead. I'll attack. 14. Temple, go ahead. How many cards in? I have one. Oh, that, I picked up my set I'm sorry. That was not right. Um, I'll swing. All right. No blocks. I'm at 10. Okay. Go ahead. Give me something. Swing. I'm at 12. No pile. That's and fine. Go ahead. How many cards in? Uh, one. Swing. No blocks. Seven, and you're at 12. And I am at uh, 12, yes. Okay. Um. Go ahead. Swing. I'm a 10. Okay. And uh, go ahead. Swing. No blocks. I'm a four. Go ahead. You got two or three cards? Three cards in hand. Okay. Planes and yeah, attack. I'm at eight. Your turn, man. Swing. One. Um. Go 
Go ahead. Six. Go ahead. How many cards are in? Three. Swing. Um, I'll blue blast him. So regeneration removes him from combat. It does remove him from combat. Yeah. Okay. Um, Maze of Ith. Uh, How many cards in the game? I have two now. Demonic Tutor? Okay. I'll lightning bolt you. You got it. I was like, I didn't know if you had a counter spell. I was like, ah. Yeah, too much land that that game. I mean, you still managed to draw two uh, control magic, so it's still a pretty good start. Yeah, they don't do much against the sedge troll, though. No, I guess control magicing a sedge troll seems terrible. <laughs> I the match I was playing against Dave, I had to, um, I had to control magic uh, scavenger folk, uh, did which you is have really a, terrible. You have a disc out or something? I just needed to. I just needed to get like his creatures off the board. Like I was just. I was sitting on. I needed a red source, so I was just like, just playing every spell I could to stay alive while he beat me down with a bunch of crappy little one ones. <laughs> wow, desperate for a blocker. Yeah, yeah. So I had to. That was kind of uh, awful. Yeah, I feel like the sedge troll. Hymns, bolts, like you're playing with a lot of good cards there. Yeah, I mean it's, it's yeah. a format yeah. where card quality can be lacking sometimes. And I feel like step one is just like play the good cards. Yeah, it. just kinda of try and assemble the most value you can and then just hope that it works. Right. Hopefully there's some synergy in there. Yeah. But I mean this this does play a little bit like just basically um, sealed deck. Or limited. Where yeah, it's just well, creatures. it's like one drops, like a, a one mana one one. Like, I mean, unless you've got a crusade, like that's just not useful. Like, you could be right. using a better card somewhere. It's almost better to have a like a four four for five mana in the middle of right. the game. <laughs> Except, I think like Acacia ja Javelineers might actually be playable. Yeah, that's good because you you can poke something with it. Yeah, I think that's like a playable one drop, and Savannah Lion obviously is playable. Oh yeah, anything with two power, one mana, that's that's a really good card. I would really like to make like um, you can check and see if you if your hand's good, man. I'd like to make like a red green deck just so I could swing with Curd Apes, but mm -hmm. green just seems really bad. I'll keep this guy. Yeah, green's like I was talking with. Uh, Florian in my last game and it's like there's nothing in green between Elvish Archers and Force of Nature. It's like I mean at least in like true old school you have like Ernam Jin and If Biff Refreet and some stuff right. like that. But green has like nothing in the middle there. You pretty much have to go with Juggernaut as like your mid range creature, which yeah. inherently has a lot of downside. I'll keep All right. First turn Savannah line again? I wish. Temple, go. First turn Savannah line is a strong play, though. Oh, yeah. Um, I just got a Badlands and nothing else. Go ahead. Tundra, go ahead.
him. Ready. Yeah. One, um, two, three, four, five, six. One and two, please. Island and Karma. Okay. That seems terrible for me. <laughs> Go ahead. You're going to laugh at this next card, but it won me a game earlier. Wall of Air. So what does that say exactly? It's 1-5 flying and has defender. Okay. Sounds good. Go ahead. How many cards in hand? Three. Him you again? One and two? Planes, planes. Go ahead. Yeah, I mean, it does seem like it's just a pain in the air for decks to deal with. I mean, it's it, it's really good against anything red or black, which is yeah, for their it, dips. It's just like it just sits there and forces you to overextend. Uh, go ahead. One How many cards are you? Uh, one. Thank you. Central? Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. Hippie? Okay. Go ahead. Before you're done, I'm going to surge the sedge troll. That sounds reasonable. I'm at 23. <clears throat> oh, control magic to hippie. Run on to blast that. Okay. Your turn. How many cards in? One. Red Element to blast your wall. Okay. Swing with the hippie. All right. Discard Temple. And, okay. And I'm at 18. I'll play another hippie. Go ahead. Island, go ahead. No cards. Yeah, it doesn't pay to not, not play in lands now. Um, hippie, hippie. 14. Come on, top deck. Go ahead. Kinda. I'll steal a hippie. Okay. My but, turn? Yeah, it's tap though. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, swing with a hippie? Twelve. How many cards do you have? What'd you say? How many cards? I have three. Three, okay. You all set? You have none? I have none. Okay, hang on. I'm, I'm thinking because I'm going to make some plays here. Oh, sure. Yeah. Um, no, didn't mean to rush you. Oh, no, it's okay. I'll fireball the hippie that you control. Okay. Go ahead. All right, go ahead. Swing with my hippie. Swords it. Ah. Oh, okay, I'm at 25. All right. Stage troll? Ah. Uh. Go ahead. 
Well, I keep getting something. Okay. My turn? Yep. Probably just going to kill me, but that's okay. Um, Playing. What? Go ahead. Take one. I'm at 11. Yep. And go ahead. Swing. Block. OK. Go ahead. I have three cards in hand. OK. Two white for an order of lipper. That's the pup knight, correct? Pup knight, yeah. yeah. Okay, got it. Go ahead. My turn? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> How many cards in? I have one card. Him you? Soul ring. Less exciting. Um, is that the sack land for white or blue? This is sack land for blue. I have no white. Okay. I'll just pass the go. Go ahead. All right. I'll keep. I'm at 10. And I control magic, the sedge troll. I'll bolt him. Okay. How many red blasts do you have in your graveyard? Two? I have two in there, yep. Okay. Um, then I will swing. I will untap the Serendip. Okay, take two. 23? 23. All right, your turn. Serendip? Yeah. Go ahead. I took one. Nine. Lions, go ahead. How many cards in? Zero. Zero, okay. Thank you. I take one. I'm at 22. Go ahead. I'm going to swing. I'll untap the order and I'll block your savanna lines. Okay. Three. So I'm in 19. Okay, I'm done. 
How many cards in? One. Thanks. Swing with the E free. I'm at six. Uh, how did you at eight? Uh, this is the last round. Did you take one from your E free during upkeep? I'm pretty sure I did. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Hopefully, get six. I mean, okay. Yeah, I, I don't. That's fine. Okay. Go ahead. I think you probably got this anyway. Uh, you're at five? Yep. White Knight, sure. White Knight, go ahead. One card still. Um, I'll Lightning Bolt you. Ah. I'm at 18. Um, play a soul ring. Okay. Go ahead. Got one. Yep. Seems like the Afrit was a bad move. Oh, yeah. I, balance. I was really, really hoping that you would kill my Afrit. <laughs> I was waiting because I had like the lightning bolt and I actually was sitting on a fireball. And I'm oh, like, yeah. but you always had like a card in hand when I was like going to fireball you for damage or kill it. I'm like, totally. I think I could just hold it back while I have this maze. Two turns away. That would have been nice. But again, this the, the Afrit one at a time would have killed me. Yeah. It worked. I mean, just sit back and relax. Well, good games, man. Yeah, good games. I had four balances in my deck, and I never – I only drew the one, and I drew it too late. Yeah, David – There was a point where I had, like, basically no cards in hand, and you had a single Sedge Troll out. Like, I, yeah. I, when I was hoping for the top deck, I got a Control Magic. If that was a balance, that would have that been sweet. Yeah. But – no, I like the deck. I hope I um, it's nice that you were trying to use balance. I think I'm going to. I have. I've been working on a deck for balance for a while now, and Wait. so probably for like the next week, um, I'll probably have a balance deck. What are you uh, going for in your balance deck? Just so curious. I mean, if well, you I was trying to like, disclose your tech. I'm oh, I don't that. care. No, I I always tell everybody what I'm playing. I don't really care about that. Um. I was working on trying to like abuse it. So, you know, I start with a lot of artifacts because you want to like destroy lands, creatures and hand. Yeah. But I realized that like hand destruction is a little tough to actually like consistently do with the balance. Mm -hmm. um, so I was using a lot of like cheap artifacts like winter orbs, um, howling mines, black vice, mana vault, things like that. So I can like drop artifacts on the table. Okay. And get you to commit more and more lands, and then you basically are just rafting and blowing up lands, then using like ATOG as a finisher with Black Vice. Because, like, okay. if you tap down their lands and like minimize their mana, Black Vice is still good throughout the game. Yeah, yeah. I, so, so just like, well, but balance is about like killing resources, and, and the Howling Mine Black Vice thing, that's about giving them more than they can actually play. Right, so, but my point, I guess my goal was, like, I'm not worried about their hand size. So I'm giving them, like, resources in their hand, but they're not actually able to use them because their lands are going to be tapped or blown up. Okay. Because without any fast mana, there's very, once you start destroying lands in this format, there's really very little chance you can catch up. Yeah, that's true. And so my, I only need two mana sources, and I'm going to use Spell War Stones in there because Atog's two mana, and then he turns all your, like, junky artifacts into lethal yeah 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 um i was thinking I, like a, a zoo deck with like bolts and giant growths and stuff like that where you just blow the cards in your hand but they don't matter because every card that you blow is just one that they have to discard eventually yeah. so like it just turns the whole card advantage thing on its head it's like 
fine, play unstable mutation, fine, play dumb giant right. gross. It's like now my hand's empty on the fourth turn, and now we're at the same thing except you're at five. Yeah. No, I guess that's that's a good idea. It's like hard because you want to try and abuse it totally, mm -hmm. but I think that's really difficult in this format. Well, yeah, uh, that's the thing. It's like with the – Okay, so first of all, Zoo, you're going to be playing three colors. The man is not going to be right. And then second, right. like, well, I would rather just have a freaking fireball or something like that. What? Why reset the game when I can just finish you off? Yeah, uh, it's hard. That's why I thought the balance would be work well there because it minimizes the Howling Mine and like Winter Orb gets your opponent to play more and more lands. Mm -hmm. And so, like, then I'm just basically using it as a Wrath of God Armageddon as opposed to a Mind Twist. Yeah. Um, I feel like a Reanimator yeah. thing might work, too. Like, white, black, and then, like, discard your own Lord of the Pit or something and then yeah. reanimate it. I mean, I think you have to kind of play either black or white because a first-turn hippie is so brutal that if you let one get through, I mean, you kind of lose the game if you can't beat a first-turn hippie. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see if anybody can really break balance. I mean, it it, it should be a broken card. It really should be a broken right. card, but nobody's been able to figure it out. Yeah, I mean, I, Dave's mentioned that he knows he has like an idea for it, but I like wrapped wrapped my head around like trying to make it broken. And the problem is, is you don't have like a Mishra's factory or like a, a Jade statue where it's a creature, a wind condition that's an artifact. Well, or, and it's like balance. If you're going to break it, you have to play bad cards. And then, right. you know, then you're just, you know, why are you doing it? Balance isn't a win condition. Exactly. <laughs> finding a win condition is really hard. That's why I felt like ATOG is a single, like, there's yeah. only one and it can be lethal. Um, Boy, Berserk. You know, need a Berserk. You could. That's actually a really good idea. Could, I don't know if they. Well, could it's not legal though. Not in, not in old school. No, that's right. It's not legal. Yeah. Not legal. It was not in revised. <laughs> it's a puzzle. <laughs>